According to some so-called experts in evolution, their best proof shows marine mammals such as whales, dolphins, and porpoise evolving from land animals. We will look at one of the hallmark fossils, considered by some to be the best example. Reported in 1994 by paleontologist Philip D. Gingrich, the fossilized remains of Rhodocetus was found in Pakistan and promptly reconstructed to suit their theory and imagination. For seven years, this extinct creature was displayed as a walking whale that could swim and propel itself through the water using flippers, a large flat tail similar to that of a whale called a tail fluke. Four years after the discovery, the speculation broadens when Dr. Annalisa Berta claims that Rhodocetus did not use its hind limbs at all, but actually propelled itself along using a tail fluke like a whale. Three years later, National Geographic published the zoological claims of gradualism in a 13-page article that included reconstructions, drawings, and explanations detailing these findings. The truth finally became known during an interview with the discoverer of Rhodocetus. Philip Gingrich, when he admit the fossilized remains were not complete and were actually missing the tail. Gingrich goes on to say he speculated when he created the flippers and whale fluke without having found the part of the fossil. Since the time of discovery, the complete remains have been discovered and Rhodocetus has feet commonly found on land animals and no such whale fluke. Therefore, the drawings, displays, and explanation published throughout the world, including National Geographic and many museums, are incorrect. This forgery demonstrates yet again that evolutionists have a greater commitment to their preconceived paradigm than to science. Their blind faith in evolution is not backed by science and consequently is not supported by the real evidence of the fossil record. Hypothetically speaking, if everything evolved from nothing, the fossil record would not need to be forged. The fossil record would not need to be forged. The fossil record would not need to be forged. Now that all the skeletal remains have been collected, it shows how imaginative it was for Gingrich to draw a whale to represent Rhodocetus. This animal is clearly designed for life on land. Not only is this not science, but after forging the skeleton, it is still incorrectly categorized and grouped with cetaceans, including dolphins and whales. This is because they cannot afford to lose an icon of whale evolution by correcting this embarrassing miscalculation. If truth is what you're looking for, it will not be found in theories like evolution, Big Bang, natural selection, or gradualism. Truth is found in the Bible. This may be inconvenient for many, but true science proves the word of God Almighty is infallible. Here are just some of the observable truths of God's word. There are literally hundreds of fulfilled prophecies written in the Bible, and only one God can know the end as well as the beginning of time. The burial cloth of Jesus proves he was resurrected from the dead, on or before the third day. Noah's Ark, which lies more than 6,000 feet above sea level, on the mountains of Ararat, proves there was a global flood just as recorded in the book of Genesis. The Cambrian explosion, which suggests all complex animal phyla, appeared suddenly and simultaneously, with no evidence of evolving. The Dead Sea Scrolls, which dates to the first century, proves the accuracy and authenticity of the Bible and its predictions. There is only one possible truth, my friends. We are created in the image of God, for God. Jesus is the truth, the life, and the way. No one comes to the Father but through him.